Hey guys, Jonas here. I hope you enjoyed those clips that I put together for you. I just wanted to show you something really cool that we have been experimenting with for a while, and that is doing aerial time lapses with drones. Um, this is something I feel hasn't really been possible to do before, but now with these small and uh, lightweight and easy to use drones uh, that are also fairly cheap, this is pretty much something that all of us can do. If you have a drone already, you're probably familiar with the fact that there are regulations on how high you can fly it, uh, usually between four and 500 feet, uh, 120 meters where I am right now. And this makes filming clouds kind of difficult because there aren't that many clouds that are that low unless you go out on early mornings, uh, usually at sunrise, when there's fog. So what I've been doing is I've been getting myself to the edge of the fog and launching and flying from there. And I'll tell you, it gives you this unreal view of what the fog looks like from above. And then I've just left the camera running for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how long the battery allows me to fly it. There are a few things to keep in mind though. One thing is make sure you fly in GPS mode. So even though it's a pretty windy day, you can see how, how stable the, uh, the drone is flying right now. You want to be sure that the drone can stay on location and it does this by using GPSs. And another thing with that is <laughs> it's really good to have your home point located so that if something goes wrong, it will fly home and land itself. And um, yeah, it's just really good. So basically you wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for the GPSs. Also, if you have the option of, of filming in 4K, this is good because the image is so big that you can basically uh, punch in and, and use the same clip for two time lapses. One which is really wide and then one which is more like a close up. This is what I did right here. So for these clips, I simply took it into Final Cut Pro X, uh, my video editing program. I've just sped up the clip, done a little bit of coloring, and then uh, put a slight stabilization on it. And that did the trick. So that is what you see right now here. Hope you enjoy that and that it gave you some inspiration to go out and play with your drones. It's really fun and it gives you some pretty amazing uh, video. Uh, if you do like this uh, and if you're not a subscriber yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more videos coming out and give us a thumbs up and uh, see you in another video.